morning. My name is Josef Manishik, and I'm interested in, in the use of the concept of structure in social ontology. Uh, the title of the talk is Structure in the Social Ontology of Tony Lawson. Uh, recently, in the philosophy of mathematics and the philosophy of science, uh, there is growing persuasion that structure is all that matters. Mathematics is a science of structures or science of patterns. Um, physical reality as, as, as being just structure, or, or at least structure is the only thing we can know about physical reality. Uh, we know that structuralism uh, and these structural approaches, apart from mathematics, and Dedekind, Hilbert, and Poincaré, late 19th, early 20th century, has its long tradition, I mean structuralism has its long tradition in social science and humanities. Um, most would, uh, would associate the beginning of structuralism with uh, structural linguistics, linguistics of the social. We also know that uh, there was a high popularity of structuralism uh, in the form of French, stru French structuralism in the 50s and, and 60s, uh, especially uh, thanks to uh, social anthropologist Levi Strauss and, and others. And we know that, uh, that by 70s, um, there were strong criticisms uh, of uh, post-structuralist, the, the construction uh, uh, sorts, uh, and structuralism came out of favor uh, in, in social science. Uh, though the, the, the criticism uh, uh, actually was very limited. The, structure, uh, the, the criticism uh, aimed at the Levi-Strauss approach, um, uh, which presupposed a single fixed mental or subconscious structure shared by all humanity as, as the structure to, to, to be searched, to be discovered. So it lacked uh, uh, dynamics. It was a historical, uh, there was no place for agency. It was holistic in this sense, um, universalistic, shared across all cultures. The criticisms of the 70s uh, thus uh, aim only at this fixity and universality, uh, but structural approaches or the use of the concept of structure as such in social ontology and social science in general is not, uh, it, it's not uh, affected by this criticism. So what's the, the role uh, or the prospects of the use of the concept of structure in social ontology? And how is it used actually at the present? As a case study, uh, I selected uh, the, the social ontology of Tony Lawson, a highly cited British philosopher and economist, uh, a leading figure uh, of the Cambridge social ontology group. And I want to ask what, what role does structure play in Lawson's social ontology? How he avoids the criticisms uh, of 1970s and whether he could not benefit from the recent developments in, in the philosophy of mathematics and science. Well, it's not, not hard to, to, to discover that structure and social structure in, in uh, especially plays a central role in Lawson's social ontology. From his 19th, 19th works, uh, uh, when he connected with the, with the label of critical realism and where he searched for the real, uh, which was an underlying structure of, of social reality up to the present social positioning theory position uh, where a network of social positions is, is the main, main topic. Uh, structure for Lawson is where powers emerge through organization and structure brings with itself or the structure entities or totalities bring with themselves uh, causal um, powers and, and they can generate and they're actually the true cause of, of empirically observable uh, tendencies. Uh, the aim of science and, or social science or, or any science should be to study these structures, not, not to to search in vain for regularities in, in the empirical or make or try to make quantitative prediction. This is the nap of Lawson's famous 
uh, criticism of, of mathematical economics. That mathematical economics doesn't address the structure, uh, but concentrates only on this uh, surface regularities. So uh, Lawson um, has similar aim to Levi-Strauss. He's done both searching for, for the structure, uh, which is supposed to be behind the variability of, of the empirical. Though, as we shall see, Lawson's social structure is much more complex and, and moreover, structure for him is not primary, but actually a derivative concept. Um, in the 70s, there were several partly separate uh, reactions to, to the criticism of French structuralism. People like Boudier, Giddens, Pascal, um, they wanted to include agency into the picture. And there, this is what I, they, their approaches share. They generally uh, think about interconnectedness um, uh, and continuous interplay between agency and structure one presupposing the other, um, but there were differences. What, what, what role does uh, the, the mental play in the social ontology? Are there social ontologies strictly processual? Are they purely naturalistic, strictly, strictly structural? And we shall address these questions on the example of the present social ontology of, of Tony Lawson, how he developed uh, actually, uh, the Baskers approach, he started from Baskers transformational model of social activity or activities. Um, this is the, the model is about um, agency presupposing structure. This example is language. If we want to speak in a language, the language structure has to exist. We are using it, but uh, we are keeping it alive. We are reproducing the structure by, by using it without the speakers, the language would die. And during the reproduction, we can also transform the language and we do transform the language. So there's no, no fixed structure forever. The structure is changing, agency is part of the picture, no universality. All, all the uh, criticisms were addressed by Baskar and Lawson built on his approach. And in, in recent years, He's, he's developing his own version uh, called uh, social positioning theory, where the main um, analytical apparatus, if you want, the main, the main um, structure, I must say, is uh, a network of, uh, of social positions, which are internally related, that are defined in relation to each other, like, and, make sense only in, in during through this uh, these interrelations like pairs, pairs like student and teacher and so on so th this is the actually the skeleton of a flaws and social structure but the social structure itself is much more complicated as we shall, complex as we shall see uh, shortly uh, the associated uh, rules or uh, ways of acting um, Lawson calls them um, collective practices with uh, with these positions um, based around matching rights and obligations. I will not go to 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 the um, um, to the terminology here, but all you have to know is that uh, it's not the social structure is not just the positions, but it's the relations or mainly those relations which are actually about about actions, about, about patterns of behavior. Um, social structure is, is very complex then. Um, that in, in different renderings, and, and Lawson keeps elaborating, elaborating his, his uh, concept uh, for many, many years through many papers. Um, in, in, in social structure, in different papers, he, he, he covered positions, relations, rights, obligations, processes, institutions, mechanisms, powers, rules, values, meanings, practices, totalities, norms, conventions, and, and perhaps others. Um, it's really much more complex. I will try to make a sketch of it uh, shortly. Social structure is not primary. 
it's an emergent property of social process actually so social process this is the big transformative process going on between two domains this is where by his uh, Baskarian roots can be seen um, on on the one hand uh, on the one side it's uh, it's the network of individual actions and interactions on the other it's the network of social positions and and collective practices and the social structures such so social structure can be seen as a property of social process sort of organization in process as Lawson calls it an aspect of social process emergent out of it but it's not just an uh, um, an aspect which doesn't play any role quite the opposite uh, it's real in a sense that it makes difference to social process and now let's 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 move to the to the questions to 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 the differences between different social ontologies um, how how Lawson, what, what Lawson position is there? Uh, the role of mind or mental in his social ontology. Well, he says uh, for some parts of social structure to have actually uh, the impact, um, it must be recognized by the actors, rights, norms, obligations. Uh, to have impact, we have to recognize them. We don't have to agree upon them. We don't have to necessarily accept them uh, wholly, uh, but without well, being completely detached from them, they wouldn't have any impact. Um, but we don't have to see or understand the whole, whole network, the emergent social structure, there's no need. We just, uh, what we are speaking about are these micro patterns, behavioral micro patterns, rather than the whole social structure. We have to internalize them somehow or make them, or they have to make impact through us, uh, impact through our actions. They have to somehow influence our actions. Uh, it doesn't matter whether they are consciously uh, incorporated. Uh, if we remember that the, the, the rights and, and norms or, or can, can, can verbalize them, or if we just unconsciously follow them, maybe they were somehow routinely um, imprinted in us, it doesn't matter as long as they, as they um, materialize in our actual behavior, um, that's what, all that's needed. So social structure for, for Lawson is partially in mind. He, he accepts that some of them, maybe most of, of these rights and obligations are actually recognized and are in mind, but only partially, it's not, uh, Lawson repeats um, very often that uh, it's not just in the mind where we should look for social structure. And the reasons, there are, there are several reasons, of course, not this unconsciousness also, but as well this micro and emergent macro structure. But there's no need to anybody knew this macro structure. It works without being known. So, um, is or could his uh, ontology be purely processual? Obviously, it's about a huge social process, processual actions of, of, of individuals, definitely processual. But the precondition, preconditions of actions, parts of social structure, which, which, pre, uh, which uh, um, change our behavior, um, this physical traits or mental or unconscious, so they may be seen as sediments of, of uh, or memory traces of past actions or interactions or our own actions and observations of our own actions. Um, that's true. Um, is everything or could everything be processual, this mental and bodily seen as, as just aspects of processes? Well, I, I don't think Lawson is explicitly claiming that but there's no, he could, there's no problem here. It's, it's completely consistent. We can make his ontology purely processual. Pure naturalism, well, the, the answer is, it's, it's very simple. He, he, he explicitly states several times that uh, he's naturalist in the sense, uh, no problem. Everything is emergent 
uh, ultimately upon the physical. The mental is structurally emergent from, from the physical, as well as later the structure, uh, the social is emergent from, from the mental and, and other. Um, it all, all is based in on physical reality, uh, so purely naturalistic. Um, st strictly structurally as well, there's um, um, still some, some trace of pre-structuralist language there in the sense that he uh, employs objects out of structures. He, th he thinks about structures being created out of pre-existing objects. And I think there is some, some, place, uh, some place for, for uh, improvement here uh, using the recent developments in, in the philosophy of mathematics and science. Well, now I want to, to return to, uh, to Lawson's uh, probably most popular argument uh, that mathematical economics or mathematics as used in, 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 uh, in well, ma mathematics as used in economics is a, is a, is a mistake. His, his main argument is about the, the system, social system being open and mathematics uh, modeling only uh, modeling only closed systems. So there's a mismatch between the, the tools and, and the object. Um, but what about the uh, social structure as such? Uh, is, it's actually, it's a structure. At any moment, it's closed, internally structured. Well, it's precisely what uh, this philosopher of mathematics speak about. That mathematics should be the language to describe this, this sort of, of uh, uh, entities. If we start with social positions, well, we, we may easily imagine a mathematical oriented graph. Uh, this pairs of, of positions that are connected by the, um, and these relations are asymmetric and the relations between them are these um, edges of, of, the, of the graph. So we can imagine um, a mathematical entity describing, uh, describing uh, the network of social positions. However, um, it's not, this is not the whole social structure, as I told you, because the edges themselves are not just the arrows, that's just, just um, primitive concepts. In the case of social structure, they are themselves uh, structured entities. Uh, they are themselves these behavior patterns. So, and these behavior patterns, um, Lawson claims uh, could be understood as part of the of the network of patterns, or at least he seemed to claim. So we would have to construct something more complicated than a simple oriented graph. We would have to construct some sort of multigraph with these edges being parts of this other network-like structure. Uh, but so far, I mean, I, I, I fail to see any, any representation of, of this pattern, uh, uh, of, of this uh, patterns network, of, of any, any network describing structurally uh, the behavior patterns. I don't say it's impossible, uh, but uh, definitely I've never seen anything like that, and it would, it would be <laughs> highly complex. Uh, uh, problem. So, I mean, um, it makes sense to readdress this mathematics and economics or mathematics and social science. Uh, um, but the answer, uh, and the answer is a bit different from the first one. You, we can't use the, the, the original arguments, but still uh, at, this pres at the present moment, we don't have mathematical social science. Well, to conclude, um, social structure uh, is really central for, for social ontology of Tony Lawson. It's an emergent feature of social process. Um, it works without, without being known. Um, it's a relatively stable feature and constituent of social reality. It's something we should look for as social scientists. Um, and and these particular questions about loss and social ontology, social structure is only partially mental. His social ontology is consistent with processual ontology. His, his social ontology is purely naturalistic and uh, it's not strictly structuralist, but it could be, 
uh, it could be done. Thank you for your attention. My time is 